Hey guys, Ken Davis here from Acme Tools. Today I have with me Matt from Walt. So with us we have the 60 volt brushless chainsaw. Uh, first it has a 16 inch bar, has a uh, chain brake on here as well. And if you go to the back trigger, this is also variable speed as well. So really good control, uh, but no gas emission. So whenever you're faced with something like this material here, which is a six by six cedar post, uh, your options to cut something through this thick are usually reciprocating saw. Chainsaws are becoming more and more prevalent in the uh, on the job site, and it's because of speed. And so what you're seeing with this is, in addition to no maintenance, no no fuss with the motor, uh, you know, it's it's self lubricating, self oiled, uh, and then also with the battery that comes with this, you're getting about 70 cuts in a six by six material like this. Plus, this battery will fit into all of your 20 volt max tools. Now Matt got eight cuts to my one cut, and the time difference was astonishing. This is the 60 volt max brushless string trimmer. So Matt, why don't you go ahead and tell us about some of the features about this trimmer. The uh, motor and gearing is all in the head of this. It has a 15 inch swap, uh, which you'll take out. It takes either .080 or .095 line. Uh, it also is a dual speed control. You have both high and low. Uh, variable speed in the trigger. And then, like you said, it takes the 60 volt max slash flex full batteries, which will fit in this for your 20 volt max products. So we can see that there was some pretty impressive power there in the 60 volt max string trimmer. And one thing that I really like to mention is that you could see part way through the line broke, and Matt was actually able to bump it on the ground using the bump feature in the head, get more line out, and continue finishing the job. So when you're under load like that doing work now, what kind of run length do you expect to see out of the trimmer? So when you add this unit on high, you'll get 30 minutes of continuous run time. And this is the blower. Some of the controls that make this product pretty easy to use. Uh, one, you have your lock on, lock off switch uh, back here that allows you to, uh, you know, actuate the trigger. Uh, it also has a, uh, a speed dial on the side where you can see as you move this, uh, the trigger moves. So if you want to lock it on one spot and don't want to have to hold this down the whole time, you can hold it with either hand and it won't it won't stop. Other things it has is the curved tube design. What this, what this does is it redirects air, so it doesn't want to blow the blower out, it blows it straight back. CFM on this is 423 CFM, and then with this nozzle, uh, you get 129 miles per hour. But then when you switch to the concentrated nozzle, which is this one here, it goes up to 175 miles per hour. And with this blower and this battery, you get about 15 minutes of continuous runtime. 